But I've been in this business for a long time and I have never ever seen a case as bad as his. This is probably as bad a skin neglect case as I've ever seen. I spent 10 years in the veterinary field and I had never seen a dog like this. Three different people, but the same stunned reaction to this American bulldog dubbed Moose. Missing hair, covered in tumors and bloody gashes, they all agree it's like nothing they've ever seen. Moose's story started one cold January night when he showed up at a random back door and scratched to get in. The woman opened the door and tried to get him to come inside, but he took off. She hoped he would come back. 30 minutes later, he did. Thinking he'd been stabbed, the woman got Moose into her garage, but knew he needed way more help than she could give him. That's when local animal foster Stacy Williams stepped in. I networked with Stephanie um, with Rescue One, and she secured him a spot to go to Haven of the Ozarks. And so I agreed to pick him up and hold him until that time. Realized that he needed extensive veterinary help right away. That help came from Grant Avenue Vet Hospital, where vet assistant Jan Myers like a boy. fell in love with the damaged dog at first sight. It was all I could do not to cry. And I actually did cry <laughs> back there with him, but I just didn't do, let other people see it. I don't think you can explain in words how you feel when you see a dog that, that has been neglected like that, you know, because it just hits you like a sledgehammer. Vet Dr. Thomas Rouse spent one and a half hours performing surgery on Moose, removing 27 skin tumors. It wasn't cancer, and he hadn't been stabbed or wounded any other way. It was sheer long-term neglect that led to a chronic skin and yeast infection. It was a first for me, and I just, my heart went out to him. Moose, on his own for who knows how long, scratched and chewed himself into this condition. It's just long-term neglect. Somebody had him and just didn't take care of him. Moose's extensive care wasn't cheap, so Stacy posted his story on the Lee's Lost and Found Facebook page, and the response was overwhelming. Calls with donations kept the phones here ringing for four hours. It was so touching. I couldn't believe it, to be quite honest with you. It, it all just, bam, started. The phone started ringing. And I'm not kidding yet. <laughs> Every call was one for Moose. There was enough to cover his urgent care needs, plus his neuter vaccinations, all of that, and further care if we need. Just three weeks after they first saw Moose, Jan and the Grant Avenue staff are taking care of much less urgent issues, like clipping nails. Good boy. His progress has amazed everyone who's come into contact with this doggedly resilient dog. He'll always have the scars left over from this, but as far as being a valid pet and a, and a companion, he's going to do great. Now, foster mom Stacy's attention has turned to Moose's future and finding him the perfect forever family. A family with the financial and emotional resources to give Moose the care and love he missed out on for so long. And as much as she's bonded with him, she says she is prepared to say goodbye. I've done this before. I've rescued dogs um, in bad situations. And when I find the good home for them that they need, it's not hard because I'm happy for them. It may be a little harder for others to say goodbye, but no matter where he winds up physically, Moose and his indomitable spirit will remain in their hearts. He's a special case, right? He is. Yeah. He definitely is. Let's go.